Hi, it's KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green and our special Culture Crawl series where we invite Steve Shanley from the Cedar Rapids Municipal Band in to talk about this season's Concerts Continues. Welcome back, Steve. Thanks, Dennis. It's good to be here. We are post 4th of July, so kind of, I, I assume that with the Municipal Band, there's kind of the run up to 4th of July because that's always the patriotic music is always a big part of your season. And then there's after July 4th. There is, and it's uh, it's that is the the part of the year where we tend to get the biggest audience, and and so yeah, and that definitely feels like the midway part of the summer. But also, uh, we hope will be the case. Usually during that Fourth of July week, we acquire a couple of new audience members That's right. who maybe weren't quite aware of what a special special group we had here in Cedar Rapids. People see so, it and they want to come back. So yes, Fourth of July is in the rearview mirror, but we are still uh, deep into the Freedom Festival, and our events this week continue to be part of the official Freedom Festival event. So Wednesday, July seventh, we're at McGrath Amphitheater for the first time this summer. Very excited about that, and I'm excited to hear what our slightly smaller group uh, spread out sounds like on that stage because I have a feeling it's going to be quite excellent from an acoustic standpoint. So looking forward to that. And then back at uh, Beaver Park on Sunday, July 11th. No oh. Prelude concerts this week. Uh, so both concerts at the normal start time of 7.30 and no uh, no entertainment beforehand. How is Beaver Park working out as a venue? Because you're, you're not using the city uh, mobile stage this year. And of course, Beaver Park has the the landscape has been changed forever uh, by all the trees lost in the derecho. So, uh, how is that working out as a uh, as a place to play and watch? So far, very lucky in terms of the weather. Uh, the there are some trees, and it basically amounts to some people being in shade for a few minutes. And uh, <laughs> and I can already tell, and you know, I'm sure you're noticing this in your own yard, and I'm noticing it in my yard. The the canopy is starting to come back, and it is amazing how how quickly some trees and and parts of trees will grow when they're exposed to the to the sun. And I think next summer it's going to be pretty good again. Um, and, and, and like I said, this summer we've been very, very lucky with the weather. So it, it hasn't been bad. We were in our normal spot, which, which creates a really great natural place for lots of audience seating. And It's and kind of a natural, a natural amphitheater. Natural amphitheater, and everyone gets a good view down and can see most of the, most of the musicians. And, uh, and the, the wise audience members, there are a few spots that are kind of guaranteed shade the whole time. And uh, the, the wise audience members usually get there pretty early and snatch those up. What's on the program this week? Well, we welcome Rod Pearson back to the band. He soloed with us oh, six or seven years ago, so we're very excited to have him back. And uh, he's performing a piece by Sammy Nestico, who many of our listeners probably know as the longtime writer for, for the Count Basie band. And one thing they may not know is in addition to being a very fine writer for professional jazz band. He also was a great writer for, for school-age jazz band. He was one of the pioneers in terms of adding articulations and, and giving some sort of guideposts to uh, students and to teachers who maybe weren't fluent in the jazz language. Uh, well, another thing he did was write very well for, for concert band and, and for I had, orchestra. I had no idea he wrote for concert band. Yeah, he could he could really do it all. And uh, he, had, he had a good understanding of, of what everybody could play and, and at certain levels. So he wrote a really nice arrangement of a piece he wrote for for, for a concert band called Persuasion. So it it's it has a, a jazz harmonic language to it, but will be certainly very enjoyable to our audience members. And I should point out in a couple weeks when we have Anthony Williams join us, uh, that will also be a Sammy Nestico concert band piece when when Anthony plays reflective mood. So yeah, showing off showing off a side of uh, Nestico that maybe a lot of people don't see, and and showing off uh, again what a great saxophone player Rod Pearson is, which I'm sure everybody will enjoy. Uh, also, we have medley from the uh, Lion King, which will be a, a great one for, for families to enjoy. And then this uh, summer is the 40th anniversary of Raiders of the Lost Ark. So thought I definitely needed to put a Raiders of the Lost Ark medley in there. So you'll hear the march and uh, Miriam's theme on that one. So uh, looking, uh, or Marion, it's Marion. Marion, yes. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that'll be a, a fun one, and the musicians always enjoy playing John Williams 
And then uh, finally, a little medley of music from uh, Louis Armstrong, who we haven't played much of this summer, but also uh, very important in American music and obviously uh, contributions to jazz. So at uh, McGrath Amphitheater on Wednesday and Beaver Park on Sunday, 730. And, of course, people can visit your website or check you out on social media for more information. And, of course, any last-minute announcements or weather information that's needed. Yes, yeah. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, we're, we're pretty current on all of those. And then the, uh, the website at CR Muni Band. Dot org. And as I mentioned last week, go ahead and follow us on those social media accounts. You'll get the, the good humor and photos from uh, Rob Klein and his take on the on the music that we're playing each week. Steve Shanley with the Municipal Band. Uh, good luck as always. And come back in a couple of weeks and we'll talk about uh, kind of getting ready to wrap up the season already. Ready to wrap up the season. Yeah. Thanks, Dennis. You can hear the Culture Crawl live on the radio many weekdays at 1020 or download the podcast, watch or listen on your own schedule at kcck.org slash culture or however you get your podcasts. I'm Dennis Green, and I'll talk to you later.